Well, here we are again with another boiler build out in the shop here tonight, late night. Uh, as if we didn't have enough going on, we're spending some time over the next few days just picking away at this one. This is going to be a three zone system for uh, two zones of infloor and one um, staple up. So typically what I would do is use a mixing valve for the higher temperature zones. However, um, we've done the heat calcs and how we're actually going to be doing this one is eliminating the need for a mixing valve. So we're going to keep all the temps actually the same, which will help make this system a little more efficient as well since we don't have to provide a hotter temp just for the staple up. So we're going to be doing that by using the staple up system the correct way that it should be done. So we're going to be doing heat transfer plates, uh, double runs through the joists, as well as insulating it the correct way. So a lot of people use foil and whatnot. Um, my preferred method that works the greatest is using actual, say, R13 fiberglass insulation. It's very cheap. Um, the bubble foil, from my experience, does absolutely nothing. Um, R13 will still radiate heat through it slowly. However, what you're really looking for is almost that initial kick on when the, when the system kicks on. It's going to keep that heat trapped in there long enough to radiate up through the floors, especially with the heat transfer foot plates. You could actually do it without the R13 uh, insulation, but um, it's a good insurance policy because typically you're not going to rip your drywall down later on the ceiling and do it. So um, I've done this very successfully in a few other applications um, and it's worked really great. So it also eliminates, like I said, the need for a mixing valve by keeping all three temps the same in floor and staple up. Um, you know, and for every home, it's not going to particularly be the same. You really need to do your, your heat load calcs, make sure you're applying everything correctly and, and just doing it right. Um, if you guys got any questions about, um, these systems or, you know, how I go about designing them, or, um, if you have any questions about a system that you're planning on building or, or maybe you want, if you actually want me to build a system for you, go ahead and also reach out. We do um, build these and ship them all over the U.S. as well. Um, this one's actually going to be uh, local. But, uh, yeah, I mean, feel free, comment, um, email me, or uh, just reach out in any way. And if and go ahead, like this video. It helps a lot. Um, and if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button because we've also, we have tons of videos on a couple other builds. And um, we're building a house. We're... Uh, using heavy equipment. We have a lot of cool other videos. So it's not just plumbing or heating that we do. Um, we kind of cover a lot of ground. So um, I guess I'll just walk quickly through this one. So this is a Navian combi boiler. Right now I've pretty much got the, I always use the Navian uh, manifold that comes with this, the primary manifold. It works really great and it's specifically designed for this system. You could do without it and do your own primary secondary plumbing, but um, this is the way I do it. So um, yeah, we got all of our uh, domestic hot water and cold water service valves here. We got the heating uh, boiler service valves on here. Um, we have already got most of our pro press fittings fitted onto um, most of the equipment that we're going to be using. Uh, the circulators here are all ready to go with the shutoffs. So just doing my initial layout here. Um, a three zone system I've done many times. You know, I basically lay them out the same one, two, three, unless the customer requires or um basically wants it done another way so in this case i'm moving everything to the right here so that the um, supply and return for these zones are actually on the right side because this is where it's going to be mounted up on the wall and the radiant heat uh, will be or the manifolds i'm sorry will be mounted to the right and the one heading upstairs for the staple up will also be on the right so everything will be nice compact uh, lined up real well. This one I'm actually going to cut the panel just to fit the pumps on it um, because he's actually pre-mounting his manifolds at the build site and then we'll just uh, mount this right up there. I took all my measurements so that it pretty much lines up perfectly and uh, that's it for this one and I'll probably post another video as I maybe get things together or when it's completed. Uh, like I said, hit like, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys in the next one.